Guys, it's like 8.30 p.m. and I have interrupted our viewing of Jurassic World Dominion, which, by the way, we're about 30 minutes into, and so far it's been terrible, to bring you this bit of very, very interesting news. Tweeted by one Gus Montz about two, two hours ago, which it took me a long time to download this stuff. That's why we're doing it now. Windows 10X as I mentioned, is available to be downloaded and installed on Microsoft's Surface Duo. In a prior video, I mentioned that I had actually installed it on my Duo 1, but I could not quite get both screens working. Gus had tried to help me get both screens working with some files he sent me, but it just wasn't working out. Apparently, he figured out what the problems were, and that stuff is now posted live and is installable for those of us who want to check this out. And I have done just that. It should still be running. Is it still going? There it is. That is Windows 10X with both screens working. So what I'm going to do very quickly here is we're going to unlock this bad boy. We're going to go to the overhead camera. I'm going to show you what it's like to run Windows 10X on Microsoft's Surface Duo. Ladies and gentlemen, this is effectively the closest thing we are ever going to get to truly having Surface Neo in our hands. This is obviously smaller than Surface Neo. Neo was a nine inch per screen device, so this is not that, but this is the exact same software that Surface Neo was going to be running. As you can see here, it does work fairly well. So when nothing's going on, the little task bar down here is minimized and quite small. You're actually seeing this now showing up in Windows 11. You can then swipe up on it, and that's going to open it up, and then also open up the Start menu, which also looks very, very similar to that of uh, Windows 11. Let's go ahead and launch uh, the Edge browser, and you can see here, loads up looking quite nice. Now you may be wondering to yourself, how do I switch screens, you know, switch an app from screen to screen on Surface Duo, you do it from the bottom. But as you can see, that's only opening up the task bar or opening up the start menu. On 10X, you do it from the top. You can swipe down and drag an app over. Now, I'm having some issues there because the gap is a bit bigger than I think it expects it to be. But if you kind of fold the Duo a little bit, what you'll notice there is that you have to get contact on both screens on that transition. But as you can see, that works really quite well. You can also span an application, if I can get that to work, just like it is on Surface Duo running Android. I mean, guys, this is all so similar to how this works on Android. It's not even funny. It works like crazy well. And then, of course, you can go ahead and launch a second thing, right? Let's just jump into the settings. I'm not going to dive into the settings a whole lot because I've made another video kind of running this in an emulator, and I'm not going to kind of retread that tire, but you can see there how all of that works. And then, of course, you have your little X up top to close things out. Let's do. Let's try a couple things, some things I have not tried yet. Does phone mode work? Let's fold one screen around. Does it understand that? No, it has both. Oh, look at that, double. Oh my goodness, phone mode absolutely <laughs> does work in 10X. That is crazy. Look at that. Wow, it even switches screens kind of. That is absolutely wild. Unbelievable. That is so freaking cool. Okay, back into book mode and everything is on here and we're <laughs> we're running just fine. We also have our little... um task switcher, which I can show you. So it is a bit different than it is on Duo uh, running Android. Instead of being totally vertical, they're actually in sort of a grid shape. So that's interesting. Is rotation working? Rotation is indeed working. That is very cool. Let's, let's span the web browser. So spanning this from this perspective is proving to be difficult because the touch registration, the accuracy is a little bit off. Let's see if I'll have better luck coming at it from the other side like this. Yeah, there we go. So let's try and span it. And now you have the web browser across both screens. And again, that's working pretty similar to how it is on Duo. Let's click on the text and there is your keyboard popping up there, almost kind of like in a compose mode type thing, but I can do you one better because there actually is a true compose mode. Let's click down here 
if I can. Come on. Oh, some glitchiness. Interesting. So in the emulator, there was a compose mode button in here. On the Duo itself, it doesn't appear like that is actually the case. That's interesting. It actually fully opened up the keyboard with the little trackpad area up top. That might be something that was truly reserved for Surface Neo. You may notice that one screen is a bit brighter than the other. I found that if you do that, that seems to fix that problem. Okay, small problem there. As you can see, <laughs> we've gotten a little turned around. Okay, rotating and rotating back seem to fix that. Guys, I don't really have a whole lot more to show in terms of Windows 10X here on the Surface Duo. It pretty much is what it is. It's 10X, right? So like Win32 apps don't work. It's only going to be apps from the store. So you're a bit limited in that regard. But as you can see, in terms of just fluidity, it actually is running pretty well. And of course, the way you navigate, the way you move things around works really well on Surface Duo. That is no coincidence at all. It is a similar form factor to Neo. So what I would like to see, and hopefully this is where we're going, is some of that stuff be built into 11 for Duo. That is, to me, the only way that that begins to be something that I would want to think about ever daily driving on a device like that. But I think with 10X, we have some of the blueprint there. Now, I'm not saying 10X is better than 11. 10X is a canceled operating system. Okay, no more updates are coming. No Win32 apps. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is there's good things for Duo in 10X that I want to see in 11. And hopefully we're able to get to that point once Gus is able to iron out the rest of the problems. Okay, so still no audio. That's a big one. Charging may or may not be working. I don't actually remember where we left off, but so it was working and then it got pulled. I'm not exactly sure where we are on the charging front, but there are still many hurdles left to jump to make Windows period something that is stable and easy to run day to day. And then when that's done, grab some of this good stuff and bring it over. And man, it's going to be really, really interesting to see. But at any rate, there you go. Surface Neo Mini brought to life by the incredible work of Gus Montz. Go give him a follow on Twitter. Go tell him thanks. Incredible, incredible work, guys. Hit that subscribe button for more content just like this. Maybe, just maybe, a tutorial on how to do this coming if I have the time to do this. A lot of my Windows 11 tutorial actually does apply to this, but they both kind of need to be redone at this point. So who knows, maybe we'll see that done at some point, guys. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.